Hi everyone, it's Lisa here and welcome back to Crochet with Lisa. Today I'm going to show you how I make these dog bandanas. Now the two I have here have patterns on them. The one I'm going to show you today is just a plain one. I will put out another video for bandanas that have patterns or pictures on them. These are just an example to show you what they look like. So I have a button to close them with and you can customize these for the size of your dog's neck. So I'll show you how to do that first. Here is a collar that I have. This is from a dog that we used to have. Um, unfortunately, she's no longer with us. So if you were to measure the collar of your dog, so starting at one end, right to the other end. So this one here is about 15 and 3 quarters of an inch. And you're going to need this overlap. And what I mean by overlap is how the collar clips together, because we're going to need that extra space over here for the button. So first things first, just measure how long your collar is. The one I'm going to do, and this is for my daughter's dog, her collar is 14 and a half inches long. You're also going to need some sort of a button. So this button is, it's about three quarters of an inch. I use a five and a half millimeter crochet hook and yarn that is a weight of four. So it's medium weight, worsted weight. And I like to do mine in two different colors, but that is up to you if you want to do yours all in one color, or you can do it in two colors like I will show you. So let's get started. Okay, so we'll start this by making a chain, and the chain has to be as long as your dog collar is. So the one I want to make is 14 and a half inches. And I have already figured out that about 50 chains will make 14 and a half inches. So just go ahead and make your chain as long as you need it to be. Then we'll meet back here. I have my chain done. So from the beginning, right up to about 14 and a half inches. That is the size that I need for the bandana that I want to make. So yours can be longer or shorter depending on the size of your dog's neck. So we'll move that out of the way. It doesn't really matter how many chains you have. I'm just gonna chain one more and that's gonna be my turning chain. So we're gonna go to the second chain from the hook so not this first one, but this second one, do a single crochet. We'll single crochet in each chain all the way across. And I'll meet you back when the first row of single crochets are done. I'm just approaching the end of this row, so I'm gonna put my last single crochet in chain one, turn. Now we're going to put a single crochet in each single crochet all the way across. Make sure you get into this first one. And once again I'll meet you at the end of this row after you have completed all of your single crochets. I'm approaching the end of the row. If you can see here I still have two V's left. So you need to make sure that you get your last single crochet. So I will put a single crochet in each of these. Chain one, and now we're gonna turn. So for this row, we are going to single crochet into that first single crochet. Chain one, this is gonna be where our buttonhole is. 
So we're going to skip the next single crochet, single crochet in the next one. So we'll just continue then single crocheting all the way across. So that our hole will be right there. So continue single crocheting all the way across. When you get to the end, chain one, single crochet back across. Then I'm going to meet you back over here where the buttonhole is. All right, so I'm back and I am just completing my fourth row. So two rows were single crochet in our third row. Remember we put that buttonhole. Then I finished the third row, came back again on my fourth row. So I'm just approaching where I made that buttonhole. So I'm just going to do a single crochet in the one before it. Now here is my chain one space. So I'm going to single crochet just into that chain one space. Then there should be one more single crochet next to it. Okay, so that completes four rows. We're going to do one more with this first color. So chain one, turn. Now it's just simply single crochet in each single crochet all the way across. I'll meet you at the end of this row. I'm just finishing the end of the fifth row. So with my last single crochet, I'm going to complete the stitch with my new color. And then chain one. So I'm going to tie these two colors together, knot them. I like to do left over right and under, right over left and under. So I'm going to turn my work. I'm going to single crochet all the way across again. We're going to do two rows of the new color. So when I go into that first stitch, I'm going to keep my two tail ends on top. So I'm going to work them in. Less ends to put in after. I think that's in far enough. I'll take care of those ends after. So just continue single crocheting all the way across. I'm just going to restate the fact that it doesn't really matter how many stitches you have. So that I'm not talking about how many stitches I have across because it really depends on the size of your dog's neck. It's not going to make any difference in the pattern if you have 50 stitches if you have 40 or if you have 60. So continue single crocheting all the way across, chain one, turn and come back again. So when you've completed two rows of the new color, I'll meet you back over here. I have finished my seventh row, so that's five rows of the light pink and two rows of this cream color. Now we're going to start decreasing in each row. So we are going to decrease two stitches each row. So at the beginning and at the end of the row. So if we look at the beginning of this row, this is our first stitch here. We're going to skip that one and we're going to single crochet in the next one. 
So that is how we are skipping at the beginning or decreasing at the beginning. Single crochet all the way to the end. I'll meet you there just before you finish the end of the row. Okay, I'm almost at the end of the row. If you can see here on mine, I have one, two, three, four stitches left. You can see those V's are the stitches. So I will do two more till I have two left. So I have two V's that are left. I'm going to skip that one and I'm going to single crochet in the last one. Chain one, turn. So we'll continue in that same pattern, skipping your first stitch, so that first V, single crocheting in the next one, all the way to the end of the row, till you have your two stitches left, so you st skip the second last one, single crochet in the last one. So continue following this pattern until your bandana has reached either two stitches or one stitch. It really depends on if you're working with an even number or an odd number. So I'll meet you back here when you have decreased all the way to your point. So here I am. I am at the bottom of my V. I have snipped my yarn and I'm just going to chain one and then just pull it through. Now I'm going to connect the first color. So I'm going to go back up here where I started. Just going to go in under that stitch here, yarn over, pull it out, and I'm going to tie a knot here. So these two ends I'm going to carry along with me. So I'm going to go back through that same space, yarn over, chain one, and single crochet in that same space. Just going to go along the edge, single crocheting, evenly spacing these single crochets. So I will continue single crocheting all along this edge, just evenly spacing these single crochets, not too far apart, not too close together. Just make sure it's not pulling together or being wavy. If it's wavy, you have too many. If it's pulling it together, there's not enough. Keep doing that. I'll meet you down here at this corner and I'll show you how We'll go around this point. So I am here at this bottom point. I've got my single crochets along this edge. So at the very bottom, I'm going to do three single crochets in that one space. Okay, we'll turn to come up this side. I'm going to hold on to this tail and work it in. So just continue along this side, all the way up to this corner, and I'll meet you up here. So I've made it up here to this top corner, so that's one time around. I like to do a second round for this border. So chain one, turn. single crochet into that same space and then single crochet into each space all the way around except at this very bottom 
Remember we did three single crochets, so in that middle one, do three single crochets also in that middle single crochet. So work your single crochets all the way around and then I'll meet you back over here where we started. So I'm at the end of this row, just going to chain one, snip the yarn, pull it through. Now we just have our ends to weave in. The way I like to deal with the ends, so I won't just snip it right there. You can do that if you want. It will probably stay in place. But I always like to make my ends go three ways. So we've come along this way. Just gonna go back the same way that I came. I'm gonna hook it around a stitch over here. Then I'm gonna go back again in that same direction. So I'm pretty certain this end is not gonna go anywhere. So I've brought it along with my crocheting this way. I came back and then I went back again. So I'll do the same thing with my other ends and then I'll come back and I will show you how we're going to finish this off. All of the ends are in and the last thing we have to do is sew the button on. So the button, I always double check that my needle that I'm using is gonna go through the holes. I'm gonna use my pink yarn. First, we have to find where the hole is. So here is the button hole. So we're gonna sew this over on this side. Now you may wanna look at the bandana and determine which side you think is the front and which is the back. So this here, to me, is the front of mine. So I'm gonna take my button. Wherever you feel that your button is gonna fit best, you can even try this on your dog first. And then just go ahead and sew it. So I go from the back and through a hole, leave a bit of a tail. Mine has four holes, so I'm gonna go across to this one. I come up through the third hole and back through the fourth. And that is it. Just trim this yarn a little bit. I always like to tie my things with right over left and under. Then left over right and under. There we go, that button fits there nicely. And here is just a plain bandana that you can crochet for your dog. If you want, you could take some yarn and stitch their name on it, it's up to you, or just leave it as it is. I will put other videos out there for, with other bandanas. This one here I've made with a heart on it, great for February. Another one that I have a clover on, 
which is great for March. I'm going to change this design a little bit down here because I find this is a little messy looking. I will also do ones that are suitable for Halloween, Christmas, and maybe some other occasions. So please have a look to see what other bandanas I might put out there over the next few months. I hope that you enjoyed following along in this video today. You found it easy to follow. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel and you can follow along with some other great projects. Have a great day and happy crocheting!